Hi guys, it's Misty, the thrifter, junker, vintage hunter, and I went to the bins yesterday. I didn't need to, but sometimes uh, my best friend and I, if we're having kind of a bad week, we need some Goodwill therapy, and there's no better Goodwill therapy than the Goodwill outlet therapy. Um, and our Goodwill outlet, we pay $1.19 a pound, and um, we always hit up some of the retail stores that we that we know that we've been to the Goodwill retail stores that we've know that that we know and that we have been to um, just to kind of check out uh, mainly their hard goods sections um, in there and see what we can find. Um, I'm going to break this video up into two videos because I got a lot and um, I don't want to bore you with a super duper long video. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the clothing haul. Um, I, I actually, I was looking for shoes mainly. Shoes sell re really well for me and I really don't have a lot left in my closet. So that was what I was searching for at the outlet. And I was really upset because I had a pair of um, Coach and I had a pair of uh, choc Chocos and a couple other pairs of some Uggs, uh, Ugg slippers, um, and I couldn't find the mate. So sadly, right before I went to go check out, I left them behind. Um, but I did put them back in the shoe bin. I didn't just randomly lay them in a bin somewhere like some people do. I can't stand that. If you know you're not going to get something, just throw it back. Give somebody else a chance. Maybe they have this, this the pair in their cart. And then they can go back and check the shoes one more time and they can find it. But they didn't. Anyway, um, we went to three Goodwill outlets. We went to, um, the only one that we didn't go to is the Greenwood Outlet because that's the one that we go to all the time and it's not been real great lately. Uh, so we went to the other three that were in Indi Indianapolis and unfortunately I didn't run into G and Michelle, the bin pickers at Shadeland. I was so hoping that I could run into them one day. Maybe someday we'll have a meetup, but um, I'll go ahead and link their channel right here. They're great, they're fun to watch. And um, you should really check them out. Let's get on with the haul, shall we? All right. Um, I found a lot of hats, too. Um, the first one I want to show you is, um, well, you'll see in my next video, I got lots of macrame, vintage macrame. And this hat was near the macrame that I found. So he, uh, he needs to be lint rolled. But this is a Toby Keith. Uh, it is a wool, 100% wool hat, size medium. Uh, and it's got the little, well, you can't really see it there. His little Toby Keith nameplate there. Um, these sell for about $30 online. So, uh, this was a great pickup. I probably paid less than a dollar for it. So I was happy with that. Um, sometimes, sometimes these unusual hats, even if they don't have like, like this is Toby Keith and a lot of people know Toby Keith. They don't have a well-known name they still do well. There's still a following for them. So it's always a good idea. Put them in your cart. When you're chain, waiting for the bins to change out, then look them up. All right. The next things I got, I got these two visors. These were laying together and they also have some macrame on them. So I'm going to have to use my lint roller. But this one is just a polo. No, I'm sorry. This is Izod. A woman's golf visor. It's got macrame on it that I'll get off. Uh, and this one is a Foot Joy women's golf visor. So, got those. Uh, this next hat I got actually for my dad, um, but it's vintage. And one way that you can tell that an item is vintage sometimes is one if it's uh, one size fits all. This one's questionable because it was made in China. So, we'll see. But I got this for my dad. He served in the Navy and he was looking for a new hat. So, I will wash this up and give this to dad. But I found it at the Goodwill outlet. Uh, I found this one and it again has macrame all over it. Uh, this is a World War II veteran hat, proudly served. Um, and if I, I don't know of any um, that I know of offhand, but I would be happy to just give this to someone uh, that was served as a, in, the, in our world, world war as a veteran because um, we, appreciate their service and I just can't leave things like this behind. 
because I think I can give this to somebody. So I'll clean that up and see if I can find somebody to give that to. I got a few more hats, but they're buried. All right. This I may need some help on. So if you know how to authenticate Kate Spade handbags, leave me a comment and let me know. This was in the bins. It is a Kate Spade, um, almost like an alligator print tote bag. It has the Kate Spade logo on the inside there. The zippers feel like quality. The And the lining is polka dotted. It does have a tag on the inside that says made in China. Uh, it's in excellent condition. The only thing that makes me wonder is this hardware here. This hardware does not appear to be a quality hardware. And I don't know if it should say Kate Spade here. They look like little buttons there. So if you know, if you have any clue, it does have the little legs on the bottom. Leave me a comment and let me know. If it's not, if it's real, I'm obviously going to sell it. But if it's not real, then I'm just going to keep it because I'm not going to sell it. Um, I'll just use it for my laptop. But it's really cute. Or if you're inter interested in it, if it's not real, you can let me know. Uh, so, Kate Spade. They had a Gucci, a fake Gucci duffel bag, and I had it in my cart because I wanted it for myself. And sadly, as I was going through my cart, the the um, the the strap was almost broken off, so I didn't get it. But I wanted it really bad. Moving on. These are, I'm going to start with the men's clothing first. I got more men's clothing than I did women's clothing this time. Uh, and this, and if I, I, I'm going to tell you if I got it at a Goodwill retail store or Goodwill outlet store. This I did pick up at the Goodwill retail store. It was $4.49 and I sell these almost as soon as I list them. Uh, I should have buttoned it here, but it is a Brooks Brothers short sleeve button down shirt size extra large so this was a great find i this will i will sell this for probably about thirty dollars on on uh well on ebay or poshmark i think the last ones i think the last ones i sold i sold on ebay so all right i also purchased this shirt at a goodwill retail store and it was the color of the week was yellow so it was half price so i paid 225 for this uh nike i think this is definitely it was in the men's section but it's definitely women's so it's a nike extra large uh baseball polo or baseball jersey and you can tell that it's women's because of the darting in the back see how it's cut uh, it does have a couple little snags here that I'll note in the listing, but for two twenty five, I thought I'd pick it up. And since baseball season is upon us, then someone might be looking for that. All right, Th these next couple things I did find at the Good Goodwill retail store, and I I was I knew that I had too many clothes already at home to list, so I was being picky. Like I thought. Okay, I'm just going to look in the big men section, like 2X and up. And I'm just going to look at the shoes. And and I, and I stick, I did stick with that, which is probably why I got more men's clothes. And I got a lot of big men's clothes. So it was the day of the Kugi. Um, so this is a Kugi 5XL. It's a green polo shirt. There's the Kugi there. It's it's just, it's, it's a 5X. It's a 5X. There's the back of it. It's all embroidered. It's in great condition. I paid $4.49 for this, but uh, I mean, there's definitely money to be made in it on this, considering the size. Uh, it has this really neat pinstriping here on the collar or on the part of the collar. So I got that at the same Goodwill retail Goodwill store in the same section is an also a kugi this one is a 3x it's a white which always makes me nervous but i did check this out a white and this is all embroidered and it's got the dots on the back the 
the striping on the sleeves. This uh, this one was $4.49. I did pay full price for it. It's in great condition. I, I did look it over. Now, I haven't looked it over under my lights, which usually is when I get angry with white things that I buy because you can't really see the stain until you get them all under the lights. Okay, I'll go ahead and pull this other, this last Kugi item out. This I did find at the bins. So these are heavy because they are, where are they at? They are a size 46, size 46, 36. Kugi jeans. This is the back. They are in excellent condition. They do have a little bit, of, I don't know, that might be factory distressing, but the hems, they have a little distressing too, which I'll I'll note in the listing. But I I probably paid a dollar for these. Um but it was the day of the cookie, and this kind of matches kind of matches that. So I got that at the bins. All right. Next thing I got at the Goodwill retail store. I paid $1.99 for it. And it is this Harley Davidson. Where was this one from? Uh, this is from Grand Prairie, Texas. There's the front. There is the back. I do very well with Harley Davidson things. And I'm lucky because in my area, I find a lot of it. This is a size extra large. So picked that up. All right, this next shirt, I paid, I also paid $1.99 at the Goodwill retail store. And I looked up comps for this in the store. And I'm, I'm taking a risk on it because I couldn't find this exact stuff. Excuse me, this exact style. But the brand is OZ, and it says they're designed in Los Angeles, and they're made in the USA. But it's kind of, it has this graphic, and I don't know who this, number 23, Cleveland. The ones that I had found comps are were Michael Jordan, and I know he's number 23, but this is Cleveland. Um, the, what, Cleveland... I don't know. I don't know basketball. The Cleveland something or other. But it 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 is made by this company and it's hand painted this OZ and it's really kind of neat. It almost this looks like puffy paint. Like there was a, a screen print on it and then somebody took glitter paint and puffy paint. Like somebody in the store not someone crafting at home. This is a how it was sold. Um, but the ones that I had seen with Michael Jordan on them were selling for like $30. So I'm going to take a chance on it for $1.99 and see how it goes. And I'll figure out who that player is. All right. Next item I bought at the Goodwill retail store. I paid $1.99. Oh, Ed Hardy. Ed Hardy in Affliction. I mean, people like it. There's the back, and it's got this lovely skull and eagle with blood dripping and his eyeball coming out. Uh, this is a size extra large, and it was $1.99, and it's white, and I, it looks like it's never been worn. It's been washed because it has a little bit, I mean, you can tell just by the, the little bit of pilling that comes with things being washed, uh, but it, it doesn't have any stains on it anywhere, so I tried that for $1.99. I do well with that kind of stuff. All right, this next item I found um, at in the outlet, in the bins, it still has a Goodwill sticker on it. They wanted $4.49 for it originally, and it's just this FJ FootJoy Golf uh, Cool Wick t-shirt or polo shirt. It is a size 2x I know that the tag is in here somewhere yeah it's a size 2x and it is polyester and spandex and it's got the um, like the long tail FJ um, I mean I got it at the bin so I probably played I 
probably paid a quarter for it, if that. Um, so we'll get a try. I've sold FJ things before, Footjoy things before. So I thought I would pick that up since it was at the bins. All right, this next shirt I got at a Goodwill retail store. I actually got this for my, well, no, I didn't get this one for my son. I got this one to resell, but it is a 3XL and it's just this Air Jordan. Um, where's the logo? I do well with this brand. Um, it, I sell these shirts very, very quickly. This one's in great shape and it's a 3XL and it's got the little Air Jordan logo right there. So for $1.99, that was definitely a good thing to buy. Okay, this next item was found in the bins. It is a Harley Davidson. And there's the front of it. The back of it is Mans Harley Davidson, Columbus, Indiana. Uh, it is a size large. Uh, it's, it's in great shape. There's no flaws on it anywhere. And I'll list this and probably list it for... $18 probably will sell it. I mean, for 15, 15 to $18 is probably what it will sell for. All right, moving on. I got these at the, I got these at the outlet. They still had the Goodwill sticker on them, but they are these really nice Nautica swim trunks, men's swim trunks. And always with swim trunks, you want to look in to make sure that the elastic is not completely shot around the little inside netting. Uh, these are a size large. The only issue with these that I see is a little bit of the white stitching right there is coming off. And I will note that in the listing, but I, since buying them at the bins, it was worth it to me. So I'm going to Probably start these out at $15 and go from there. Okay, but I love this shirt. I I did buy this at the Goodwill, the Goodwill retail shop. I paid $4.49 for it. It is a 2X Brooks Brothers t-shirt, and it's got the spell out on it. So I like, and this feels so good. I don't even know what the fabric content is. It is a Brooks Brothers Pro Sport. It does have the vented little holes here in the back. Let me see what the fabric content is on this because it feels really good. I'm gonna say it's probably Modal Cotton. It is, no, I was wrong. It is 64% cotton and 30. It's a cotton blend, but it feels really good. This feels like a quality shirt. So I will probably start that this one out at $25. This next item I did I should have done comps on before I bought it, but I've sold Steve and Barry things in the past. This and this one is a 2X. It's Ohio State. These were only selling for um like $15 to $18. And I paid $3.99 for it. So um I probably wouldn't buy this again, but we'll see how fast it sells. Um, and so this one is number 32. I'm back. Sorry. I had to take a break um, to get something done. But anyway, let's go ahead and finish on with the haul. And I had to put my hair back because I have so much hair and it's out of control. So we needed to put it back. So it's back. And I'm ready to begin with, well, finish with the haul. All right. The next thing I got was from the... Goodwill Outlet, and it is the, the, it, they are, it is, it is, these Men's Gap Girlfriend jeans are size 29 regular. Uh, they're just an army green, distressed leg, skinny jean. I've never sold these before, but um, I, I do well with other Gap items, and in the jean category, um, I decided that I'm not, well, you'll see I did buy some, but I'm trying not to buy women's jeans because men's jeans just sell better for me. I have women's jeans that I have had listed forever and they're not selling. So they need to sell. And I, and I have a whole 
bunch of them that I haven't been listed yet. But anyway, all right. This next item I got at a Goodwill, out, uh, no, Goodwill retail store. It was half price. I paid two twenty five for it, and it is this vintage size extra large. Is this, what is this? Uh, Toltex vintage Tasmanian Devil Tazware. There's the front. And there is the back. It's in great shape. This stuff is just coming back. This reminds me of my high school years. This stuff was popular then, back in the 90s. All right, moving on. I got this at a re Goodwill retail store. I paid $1.99 for it, and it is a Victory Motorcycles t-shirt. I do well with really any motorcycle-related things. And um, so for $1.99, I wanted to give that a try. This next item, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's much, but if anything, I'm going to give it to my son, but it's Riot Society, size extra large, and it's got this little space bear guy. And I, yeah, he's holding up a red Solo cup. Uh, it's in great condition. It was $1.99, so I, I just thought I'd try it. And if all else fails, I'll just give it to my son. This next item is also $1.99 at the Goodwill retail store. And it is this 2X Nike uh, t-shirt. And if I might give this to my son as well, but it is a size 2X, the Nike T. It's in great shape. So for $1.99, I thought that was a good pickup. This next thing I got for my son, it is just, it was $1.99. It's just a NASA t-shirt. So pick that up for him. Next item I got for my son, it was also $1.99. Was And it's just a gray, uh, it's like a Walmart brand gray t-shirt. But you can, if you can get them for $1.99, that's better than paying... Uh, it was probably $9.99 at Walmart. I got this for my son as well. It was also $1.99 at the Goodwill retail store. And it is an Albert Einstein space shirt. Like his thoughts, I guess. So pick that up for my son. And I think it was just a... Uh, it just says Einstein. It just says Einstein. Oh, one more shirt for my son. I'm hoping that he'll wear this to church on Easter, but it is it's just an ocean current, a V-neck, like a space washed kind of shirt. So pick that up for him. And I got a shirt for my husband, and then I think everything else is for is for resale. This is just a Nike Sport, or Nike Golf, I'm sorry, 2X, just a polo, black and white polo. It's got the Nike emblem on the sleeve. All right, back to resale clothes. I'm almost done with the men's clothing, and we'll move on to women's clothing. Um, I got this shirt at a Goodwill retail Goodwill retail store, um, along with all the bigger bigger man size kugi. This was four forty nine, and I know that Rockaware isn't what it used to be, but I thought this was really a really neat shirt. It is a size 4XB. I'll tag this fell off. 4X. And it says the Rockaware Denim Company. And th these are all, you know, they're not embroidered, but they're patches, I guess. So they're not, it's not a graphic, it's more of a patch. Um, it's in great shape. The front is black and white, and the back is just black. So picked that up. All right, this is my last men's clothing. I have men's shoes, but men's clothing. This as well I got at the Goodwill retail store along with the Kugi and the Rockaware. This is a Nike, this is a 3XL Nike Flight short sleeve full zip jersey. And I haven't looked comps up for this, but I paid... 
$5.99 for it. So they priced it as a jacket because jackets are priced to $5.99 there. But I thought it was great. It's in great condition. So I'm curious to see what that is going to do. Sorry, I had to stop again. I had to take a phone call. All right, so we're done with the men's clothing. And now I'm going to move on to the women's clothing and then we'll do the shoes. Um, but I did find um, a couple, another hat and a couple handbags. So um, I picked up this hat. It, it is a uh, New York Yankees, but it's New York Fire Department and Police Department. It's a vintage hat. Uh, it is, it still has the tag on it, but it's just a Velcro back and it says City, City Hunter. So I picked that up. I don't know what it'll do. I just thought it was interesting. Uh, I also got this, and I've sold these before. This is an eSport uh, fanny pack. And I got this at the bins. I got the other, I got the New York Fire Department and Police Department hat at the bins as well. So I'll just throw this in the washing machine. I mean, it's very clean, but I still like to wash them. And uh, I think I've sold the other one that I had like this. But it was black uh, for $17, I believe, on eBay. The next thing I got, uh, I picked this up at the Goodwill bin. So they've tried selling it at Goodwill for $3.99. And it, it still has the little plastic right here, but it's just a Steve Madden uh, clutch wristlet. So it's never been used. It's brand new. And so that was a good find. I guess I should show you. I'm just looking at it myself. So Steve Madden wristlet. I don't know about this either, but I got it at the bins. I thought it was kind of cute, but it is American Eagle it's just a denim tote bag. It has the American Eagle patch right here. Um, so since getting it at the bins, you're, I'm more likely to buy things that I'm willing to take a chance on. And this was one of those things. So American Eagle denim bag. I also got at the bins. This was when I was getting ready to check out. I just walked past this. And this is a Victoria's Secret. Body by Victoria high leg pantyhose. Uh, they originally sold for uh, $8.50. But for some reason, they must not make these anymore. Um, they sell on Goodwill, for, or on Goodwill. They sell on eBay for about $15 a pair in this size. This is a size D. So it's probably, that's the, a bigger size. So that's good. So. Picked that up. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the women's clothing. I don't have all, as much women's clothing as I do men's clothing, uh, but all of this I got from the Goodwill bins because I made it a point not to buy any women's clothing at the retail store. So the first thing I got was this. This is a Gap. It's a Gap outlet, and you can tell that it's an outlet purchase or an Atwell garment because of the dots underneath the gap. Uh, it is a easy T let t-shirt convo, whatever that is. Uh, it's a size extra large. Um, I actually got this. I think I'm going to keep this for a bathing suit cover. I think it's really cute. It's just a big black t-shirt. Uh, I guess it could be a nightgown, but I, I think I'm going to keep it as a swimsuit cover. The next item I got at the, like I said, all of these came from the Goodwill outlet, is a, it's a, just a Gildan size large Kenny Chesney Somewhere in the Sun tour from 2005. So it's got, there's the front of it and there is the back. Again, I'm being, and I'm being very picky on concert t-shirts. I'm only getting them if I can find them really cheap at a yard sale or the bins because I have a lot of them and they just don't seem to be selling as well for me as they used to. Okay, next thing I got was this Victoria's Secret pink. They're just like pajama boxer shorts. And they look, they're in really good condition. So I got them at the bins. These, uh, I tend to sell Victoria's Secret th th things better on uh, Mercari. So, I mean, I'll list these on all of the platforms, but they sell best for me fastest for me on Mercari. 
This next item is a cute Zara. I believe it's Zara. Yeah, it's Zara Basic. It's a size large, believe it or not, but I'll show you what I mean. It looks pretty small to me, but it's just this little see-through lace top. I guess it's kind of stretchy, but it has a high collar on the back of it, and it's got a keyhole back with these buttons. The button is there. It's just not buttoned. These little dainty little shell buttons. So Zara does well for me too. So I picked that up. All right. These I got also from, they have a Goodwill tag on them for $6.99. But I did get them at the outlet. And they are these J. Jill Smooth Fit Slim Ankle Jeans. Cute. Very cute. Very petite. So I'll, I have these two the pile of jeans I already have to list. All right. This I got at the Goodwill outlet too. And this is just fun. This is an SG Sport. Very vintage collar block uh, cardigan. But I thought someone would really like this. And I think, oh, I hope. It probably doesn't have the size in it. Yeah, it does right here. Oh, I love these vintage labels. It has the style number, the cut number, um, and it is a size large, and it's made in the USA. Good old vintage clothing. So it's a size large, so it's a good size, so someone will really like that. It's very 80s and 90s. This, I got at, yeah, I got this at the bins as well. I, yeah, I got all of this with the women's clothing at the bins. Sorry, I was having... Um, a moment there this is a, a, sh a shrub a scrub not a shrub but a scrub it's a scrub top long sleeve but it has elvis on it elvis and tropical things and it is it's a size small but man that doesn't look like a small but and it's a cherokee brand which i think they probably sell at walmart or target but at the bins, I wanted to pick it up. I, I thought I would try it. Um, some people do pretty well with scrubs, but I've not tried selling them. So I'm going to try Elvis. Let's see if Elvis makes, makes me money. Anyway. All right. This next item I got was a Hot Topic. And this is size small. I don't know if this is... Like a it belongs to the character at all, but it is just this little black cardigan. It's a black button up, and on the front it has these little doves. It is new because it has the button here, but the tag is missing, so I don't know. It's a size small, and on the back it has an anchor and a heart. So if you know what this character is, I haven't looked up comps for this, but. I threw it in. Uh, so if you could just, if you know, let me know. Then maybe I'll find out before you let me know, but just in case I don't. This next item, I think this is super cute. It is a vintage sweater and it's just a Bobby Brooks. Bobby Brooks woman. It is a size eighteen twenty. It's just a big chunky gray sweater. And I may end up keeping this. It is just, it's cute. It'll look cute with boots. So, because I, I, I probably won't sell Bobby Brooks. But I'm going to keep that, I think. It's really cute. All right, three more clothing items. Uh, these, actually, these two things I did buy at the retail store. Because I know that I can sell them and make money. But it's, they were $3.99 each. They're just Athleta Um exercise tops then they're both size large so there's that one and then this one so i broke my rule a little bit but it happens because i have no self-control when it comes to things actually this one's a size small so very cute very soft i love the way these feel so i got those all right this last item i got from the bins I believe I found this one at the Shadeland bins, which is was is my favorite one to go to at the moment. Um, and it is this white, where's the tag? Columbia. 
puffer jacket. And it's white and it has a little bit of spots on the sleeve that I will scrub. It's just from wear. It may come out just by washing it. Um, but I'll put some stain stuff on it. Uh, so it's just a white puffer coat and it's got this cute iridescent lining. It's in great condition and it's super soft. I don't know. I, I need to find the, um, the tag to see what it's made of. And did I say what size it was? It was a size extra small. I'm trying to find the fabric content to see if it's okay. The shell, oh, it's all poly polyester. It's not, so it's not down. If it was down, it would be even better, but it's very cute, very soft. So I'll get that cleaned up and get that one listed. Well, I probably won't list it. I'm going to wait and list that one. I know some people will list things year round. I just don't. It's just what I do. And if you list things year round, if you list that jacket right now, and that's what you want to do, that's great. That's just not what I do. I kind of look forward going through the stuff that I've put in space bags for the winter time in the fall. As with, with the seasons changing, it always, I don't know, it's just fun. All right. Oh, you know what? There's a bag right here of more clothes that I forgot about. So let me go through these clothes. This is... I got this at the bins. It's a size extra large. I'll go through them quick. It is a Purdue hoodie. It's new with tags. So I picked it up at the bins. I paid a dollar for it. All these came from the bins. All these clothes came from the bins that I'm showing you now. This is a size small, lucky brand. Um, just a long sleeve, terry cloth feeling shirt. I do well with lucky brand. So I picked that up. This also came from the bins and it's got more macrame on it, but this is a size large Harley Davidson. On the front of it, it is, it says Harley Davidson, Australia. No, what does it say? No worries. I thought this was really cool. Let me see if it has a date on the bottom. It does. Cause Harley, with Harley Davidson shirts, if you look underneath the graphic, you can see on the front, you can see a date. Let me see it right there. So this one's dated 2000. So that's awesome. This doesn't feel like it's ever been washed. Let me see if it's, it's double stitched. Um, so there's the front and this, there's the back and it says a Fraser Harley Davidson, Sydney, Australia. So I'm didn't realize it was as old as it was for, because of the condition that it's in. So uh, I'll probably list this at about $25. Let's see how it goes. All right, still from the bins, still from the bins. This is a American Eagle Soft and Sexy Tee. These sell well for me. They're just a bread and butter item. This one is a size medium. They are super soft. So I picked that up. But usually I'll only buy those if I can get them at the bins. Also found at the outlet was this. Harley Davidson is the size. Where are you? Si oh, size one X. So this is great. It's a plus size. Um, Harley Davidson, uh, adjustable spaghetti strap, built in shelf bra. There's the front. It's kind of a, like, kind of looks like a bandana on the front and on the back. It is Charlotte, North Carolina on the back. And again, this one is dated 2011 so you can see that on what was the other one dated we just pulled out that other one Harley Davidson one where did it go I'll pull I'll find it and we'll look and see what the date is I forgot to do that oh well moving on all right the next item I found and I found these right as I was leaving too sometimes you do that um, these are cut from the cloth back Michelle back flap boot cut, but these are size 16. So these are a great size. Uh, they are boot cut, which I guess is apparently is making a comeback. They look low rise. And they're size 16. Here's the back. And the cuffs look 
immaculate. I mean, there's nowhere on the cuts, which with boot cut jeans is a, is a odd commodity, but these are great. Found at the bins right before I was leaving. All right, these next ones uh, are a bread and butter. They're just American Eagle, but they're American Eagle men's jeans. And a lot of times men, they just know what size they want and what cut. These are the original straight 32, 34 American Eagle je men's jeans. They sell well. This one is an American Eagle stretch. I got these because, well, here's, let me show you the tag, American Eagle stretch. And they are a size, they're the artist size two. They're just like a skinny um, crop pant. So I picked those up at the bins. This, these were just laying there again as I was leaving, as I was getting ready to check out. These are silver. Here's the back. Ooh, focus, focus. Not gonna focus. Focus. All right, these are the Pioneer Flap jeans. They are a size 28, 28, 33. These are, yeah, these are women's, so. Picked those up at the last minute as I was leaving. Okay, these last couple things, I, these were the first things that I found on the Washington Avenue um, outlet, which is the last one that we went to of the day. But I found some costumes. And this one is Pete, an, an adult Peter Pan. And I have it, I'm assuming that it's all in there. There's not much to it. Uh, I haven't taken it out, but just for time's sake. I won't do that right now, but Peter Pan. And I also found, uh, this one is also an adult size Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And an adult size men's Ghostbusters. So these, I haven't looked up comps for these, but, oh, this one says that it is plus size. So you can be a plus size Ghostbuster which is great. So I'm assuming maybe, I'll have to open this one up, but maybe they're all plus size. Yeah, this one is too. That's great. So I got those. All right, so now shoes. And I'm gonna go through these quickly because this has been a long video. So I got, I found, this was a day of, of Skechers Shape Ups because I found three pair um and I have found like two other pair earlier like last week so uh these are a different style these are men's shape ups and they are a what size are you a size eight and a half so I got these at the outlet they're in great shape the bottoms and these should sell for about 30 to 25 to 30 dollars so there are those and then i also found this other pair of sketcher shape ups these really don't even look like they've ever been worn uh they are they say sketchers shape ups but on the inside they're for work so you if you were working in a restaurant as a waitress uh or chef or you know whatever they're I don't think they're, they're not steel toed, but they're closed toed, but they are, they have the, the safety grip on the bottom and these are a size, these are small, these are a size five, but they're, they're in excellent condition. These should sell for about 25 to $30 as well. And I got them at the bins. Another pair of shoes. I found these at the, one of the Goodwill retail shops. So I paid four fifty for these. Another pair of Skecher Shape Ups, a different style. These are a size women's eight. And there's the front. They're in great shape too. And there are the bottoms. So I'll be listing those soon. 
All right, I got these at a Goodwill retail store, so I paid $4.50 for these, but they are Cole Haan. They're still tagged together. See, Cole Haan, they're these tennis shoe-esque, but they have the, the Nike Air, which is good. And they're the bottoms. They're in great shape. Um, I will put some shoe polish here on the toes, but other than that, they're in great shape. So I got those. I found these at that same thrift store, and I sell Doc Martens all the time, but I've not had this style. These are our men's boots. You can see this says Doc Martens there. I am going to use my Doc Martin polish to get these cleaned up, uh, and the bottoms look great. These are a size 11 in men's. And it has the Doc Martens, the style number inside, so I can easily look them up. These are made in China. They're not made in England, so we'll see. But I did pay $4.50 for these. Next sh shoes, I got some Ugg boots. I found these at the um, Washington, no, Chadlin Avenue. Uggs. There are the bottoms. They're in great shape. The wool is still really plush and soft. These are a size 7, women's 7. The toes, you know, they do have a little bit of wear on the toes, but I paid maybe a dollar for these. All right, I found these in the bins, and I was super excited about that, but it's another pair of Cole Haan sh shoes, and they are the Nike Air. They have the, also have the Nike Air in the heel, um, but they're just a nice uh, pointed toe men's shoe. Um, and when I look at shoes, I always look at the bottoms first because you can tell if a shoe is a quality shoe just by the sole on the bottom. Um, there was another pair of Cole Haan shoes, and I didn't get them because the inside was really torn up, and so I just didn't get them. These are a size, hmm, where are you at size? Hopefully I can find, oh, there they are. They are size 11 and a half. These will fit my husband. I don't think he'll want them, though, but Cole Haan shoes at the bins. All right, these next pair I also found at the bins, and they're just a Nike, um, oh, I can't remember. I looked up the style, but there they are. And these are a size men's, um, eight and a half. So they're a smaller size, but they're in great shape. So I picked these up at the bins, and one similar sold for about anywhere between $15 and $20. So I will throw these in the washing machine and get them listed. Also at the bins, I found these cute Victoria's Secret pink slides. Well, they're not pink, they're blue, but they're pink the brand. Um, these, I don't know. They're in a little rough shape. So maybe I shouldn't have picked them up because I see they're kind of pulling apart here. What size are they? There's the bottoms of them. So they're a little worn. I'll still, you know, I'll just take pictures of all of the flaws and I'll still list them. I can't even see the size. So we'll have to see. I'm going to say they're probably a size seven. That's what they look like to me. So... I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have got them, but I mean, I probably paid a quarter for them. All right, I found the, I, I found those and the Cole Hans and the Uggs at the Washington Avenue outlet. I also found these at the Washington outlet, and they are the Berkey's, the Birkenstocks, uh, clogs. So they are a size... Uh, seven no size nine and they're in great shape so these I think they're gonna be too big but my daughter may want these I love I have my Birkenstocks on right now and I, my, I wear them all the time so these are a little big on me 
So I'll, I'll actually see if my daughter will want these, but she probably won't. It's kind of not her style, but maybe she will. So I was happy to find those at and the bins. All right, my last pair of shoes. I did not find these at the bins. I found them at one of the Goodwill, re Goodwill retail shop are these Sorel boots. Now, I found a Sorel pair last week. No, on yeah, on Saturday night that were children's. And these are adults, I think. They look like adults, but they're, in, I, again, as with the other ones, they don't seem like they've ever been washed. So I snatched these up. These are a size seven, so they're size women's or men's seven. I think they're unisex pretty much, but so these were a great find. You can see in the bottom. Uh, so these will probably sell. I won't list them until the winter time. I could probably get about $35 for these. So that was a great find as well. And that is it as far as the clothing, hats, purses, and shoes go. I spent on everything. Now, not only the clothing, but all the other stuff, the hard goods that I bought. And there's a lot of it uh, that I'm going to film a video for. Uh, and it'll be posted the next day. Um, but all together for everything that I spent, clothing and hard goods, I spent $203.45. And which isn't bad considering what I'll get for a couple pairs of the shoes and because some of the hard good things that I bought will more than cover for what I spent and it was a fun day. So uh, if you really want something fun to do and you're and you're okay with uh, the the chaotic atmosphere that goes with being at the bins, the first one that we went to, we both were like, yeah, I don't want to be here anymore and we left fairly quickly so we didn't like it <laughs> it was something else it just had an icky feeling uh, but go to the goodwill outlet it's kind of fun and and dig through people's trash because why not there and there are there is trash there so my advice to you when you go to the goodwill outlet is bring a friend wear gloves have hand sanitizer, wear a fanny pack or something to where you don't have your purse on you and wear headphones. I haven't wore headphones when I've gone in there, but I know a lot of people do. And I might try it next time just to kind of tune out the noise and the chaos, but definitely gloves, definitely a fanny pack or something where you're not carrying a purse. It isn't as scary as what you may think. And just go and have fun. Check it out. You don't have to stay very long. You don't have to stay from the time that they open until the time that they close. Like some people do. You can just go for a little bit. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. And thank you so much for liking and commenting and subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. This is fun for me. And I'm going to keep continuing it. And stay tuned. This weekend, we're going to be getting some yard sale footage from a town-wide sale that we're going to. So uh, we'll see what all we can get. I'm still trying to rein it in. I'm trying to refrain from buying things. And my rule of thumb now, since I have things that I need to list, is if it won't make me $20, I'm not going to buy it. Which is very, very hard. But I'm going to really try to live by that rule. We'll see if that will happen. Anyway, have a great day. Have a great day, guys. Hi, it's me again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please leave a comment and let me know what your favorite thing was. See ya.